Now I would like to show you something about the software program and the, uh, the bug that might be in it. Um, just look at the position of the AR636 uh, receiver. It's uh, mounted on my shock flyer, uh, on the antenna on the back and the connections on the front. The Spectrum logo is on the left of the receiver. It's connected now, right? So just zoom out a bit to see its position. If you are in doubt whether um, I installed or reversed something on my radio, um, all settings for channels are normal. Nothing is reversed, nothing. Um, all the settings will be done within the AR636. The only settings I have done on the radio is the exponential, elevator, rudder, and ailerons. That's it. So you can see. It's going the right way. How did I program it? Just take a look at the receiver orientation up. And it's quite difficult to see, but I think it's quite clear. Um, the logo is on the left if I turn it this way. And the antenna is on the, uh, uh, pointing to the rear of the plane. So this should be the correct installation. But if I put on heading hold for me on my receiver, it's position two, and the plane is going down. You see what elevator does. It's pointing up the wrong direction. It's also pointing um, the plane downwards. And how is it sideways now? The plane is on level at this stage. So now I'm going to turn. Uh, the wind is blowing the plane to the left. That correction is right. It should correct also this way. Right? So it's the elevator that has a problem. And how could this be fixed? Let's see what rudder that is. Rudder. So I don't know what causes the issue, but there is an issue in the software. So we're back in business again. The synchronization icon has been stopped. Go to the settings, initial setup, receiver orientation, and uh, you see it's still pointing uh, uh, backwards the antenna and that's what I have so see what happens even after a fresh startup I just move the plane so first turn on flight mode 2 of course and you see it's still increasing the effect uh, so it's working the wrong way so what I do is turn it around now it's been reversed, the direction, settings has been taken, see what it does now. And you see when the plane is going down, it's getting the effect in the right direction. So what happens now to the ailerons? plane is in level, what happens if, uh, for instance, the wind is turning it, what does it do? Well, it's increasing the effect. So this direction is also wrong. What happens now uh, will certainly cause a crash. I can show you on my other YouTube uh, film. Uh, because the plane is moved left, for instance, by the wind. And the elephants are uh, corrected by the stabilizing uh, system in the wrong way. Look how it's now. So this is not the real setup, of course, but you have to try and really do a good um, pre-flying uh, test. And see what happens now, let's synchronize again. Oh, sorry. So now I'm going to reverse this one. Take care, it will be synchronized. What does it do? 
plane is it's still it's still going the wrong, the wrong way so the plane is still going to the left where the flap is also moving up instead downwards so there's no way to correct this issue for me this is uh, useless so I have to kill the application again so I start over uh, over again the process I don't know why it is but it's very annoying and very irritating the plane will be moved to the left it's the wrong direction so maybe someone can tell me uh, what causes this uh, this issue. This is a uh, pre-flight uh, check. Yeah. Weer goed gevoel bij? Nee. Dat zijn we zenuwen. So far this video. Thanks for watching. Very irritating.